we managed to build a trickstar deck and it actually managed to do pretty well uh, after much trial and error we came up with this we went eight and one with this deck at one point so it was managed to pick up a few decent wins so the main thing about this deck guys is uh Trickstar's main weakness, right, is that they have, like, so few attack points. Like, their Link 3 only has 2,200, guys. So, the way we counteract this is we use Solidarity right here. It, uh, it makes all their Trickstars gain another 800. So, not the worst. And then World Legacy Clash, of course, is going to be able to banish your own Trickstars and lower your opponents. This is a permanent decrease right here. So, World Legacy Clash is pretty nice to run. Uh, the trap lineup, we got Crackdown, Double Warning Point Compulse. Pretty nice uh, staple traps in this meta. You probably should get them if you don't have any of them. And, alright, let's go over the main one. So the main starter, of course, is going to be the Trickstar Candina. This can add any card from your, or any Trickstar card from your deck to your hand. So with this, you can either add, the first option is Lycoris. Lycoris is able to dodge any other Trickstars. So you can add this, and then if your opponent either, like, say they have a warning point phase down, and you Candina, and you have a Lycoris in hand, you can Lycoris, and then you still get the Candina search. Another option to search, of course, is going to be the Lily Bell. Lily Bell can, when you, uh, when you search it, it just, or when it gets added to the hand, you just get to summon it, except by drawing it. So you get to summon it, free special summon, can attack directly, and when it inflicts battle damage, you can get any, um, any trick start card from your deck, or from your graveyard to your hand. So, um, I usually add Corobane if Corobane's in the grave, so it's just a way to get the hand trap back. And Corobane, this card's massive right here, guys. It's able, hand trap's able to boost your trick stars by its original attack, so it can go, even if it's at, like, zero, uh, it can still get boosted up to, like, 2,000 extra attack points, so pretty nice hand trap. And also, it's a, just another free special summon, so it, I think the main way to play this deck, non-extra deck reliant, is spam and attack and dodge basically um but yeah so for the extra deck what we do run is we do run one dark rebellion exceeds dragon i have it just in case somehow we ever get to two level fours i used to play another level four here but candina being the only uh, probably cut this out for something else but we do play the trickstar fox glove witch the ningirsu the crimson heart code talker security dragon Diva Ritus and Trickstar Blue. So yeah, I don't really go into them too often. If I do, it's usually because I have Trickstar Light Arena and it's fine. It's going to resource back up anyway. But yeah, speaking of Trickstar Light Arena though, uh, this is a pretty nice card. You don't actually need to run... I, I feel like you don't need to run MST because you run this. Because this is just like a, basically MST if you draw it. Uh, you activate it. And then it makes it to where you choose a face down card your opponent has, and if they don't activate it, then they can't activate it until the end phase. And then they're forced to activate the end phase, so you can make them activate something they don't want to activate at the end phase as well. And it, it actually is pretty well. And of course, if you link off, you get to add a trick star monster back from your hand. So, or back, you get to add a trick star monster from the graveyard back to the field. So, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy the.